That's why, like, for me, like, the mystery of the incarnation, like, that's something that I I, I just, I, I love to meditate on. Like, whether it's an evangelization or just my personal walk with the Lord, it's just, like, this idea of ministry is messy. You know, marriage is messy. Life is messy. Our, our relationship with the Lord is messy. It's just easy to, like, hear, you know, someone like you or someone we look up to or whatever, you know, like, um, you know, sharing something about their, their marriage or their, their spiritual life or something they're reading or whatever and just be like, oh, I'm, I'm not experiencing it like that. You know, but it's just like now most of life is boring and messy. Yeah, that's you know right. what I mean? And, 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 and when we do share about our messy parts, like we just did, we're still sharing it from a sense of it's yeah. resolved. Yeah, so yeah, even yeah. sharing the mess is yeah. something that's not messy, totally. which doesn't help people in the middle of their mess because yeah. they haven't had that resolve yet. Yeah, no, w without a doubt. And I think that that, <clears throat> to me, y you know, doing uh, all I've ever done in my life, you know, and this this also I feel like it <laughs> gives perspective to like, like I'm always amazed like uh, when I talk to people that have, done lots of different things or, or, or business gurus or whatever. Like it's, it's, it's really interesting to me. All, all I've ever done is ministry, you know, but like to me, it's, it's become one of the greatest like, um, sources of peace. Like for me in ministry, it's just this idea that ministry is messy and it takes a long time and it often doesn't look like you thought it was going to look like, you know, it's like all those things, like they're, they're kind of comforting to be I like love that messy and boring. I love how you yeah, put that. Most yeah, of yeah. life is messy and boring. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's just, it's just like, even if you look at like Jesus doing ministry in, uh, yeah. you know, in the scriptures, it's like, these are the highlights of his day, right, but there was right, other exactly. points where he went to the bathroom. Right. Yeah, exactly. Or that he was on a walk with yeah, somebody right. and they'd run out of things to talk about, right. you know. Or even just like I always like to say, like as far as like incar incarnational ministry is like, you know, we're given this like super concentrated, you know, uh, thing in the last couple of years of his life. But most of his life, 30 out of 33 years, he just did normal stuff. He hung out with people, he ate, he played, he listened, he worked, you, you know, and... I think like that's that's actually like a very freeing model for ministry when you because you know, I think some of us, uh, myself included, there's times like, you know, where like you mentioned Scott Hahn, like, you know, and like having taken him as a student when I was in college, you know, there'd be times where I'd be with someone that I didn't have the right answer about the faith or whatever. And I'd be like, oh, what would Scott Hahn say? Or I wish I knew, you know, but you realize like that's just not the way normal life happens, you know, like, and it's actually freeing to admit that, uh, you know what, like, um, th this m most evangelization, it happens in a slow, messy way, you yeah. know, and there's, there's give and take. And it's mo most time it's, you know, we all like to hear the story. I sat next to this guy in the plane and by yeah. the end of the plane, he was balling and I prayed over him and, and he, now he's a, you know, a Catholic speaker, you know? Um, but, most of the time, it's just not like that. Most of the time, it's like we, we over 10 years, like we were able to share our family and our life a little bit with our neighbor, yeah. you know, and and they maybe come to church with us or something. You know what I mean? Like it's, no, it's, it's right. a lot less. Well, and most of the things that we, we watch have to do with the highlights of our life. So mm. social media is the obvious one mm -hmm. where we don't post the boring moments that comprise the majority of our day. We, we post the interesting moments. But then also like television or movies all revolve around the interesting things people did. Um, you ever watch that show 24 with mm -hmm. Jack Bauer? Of course, bro. I, I had this thought it'd be real funny one day if like Jack Bauer was sick one day and that was the season <laughs> and it's just him going to the bathroom and sleeping. <laughs> like, like you, you watch that show, Jack Bauer, like hunting down the bad guys and then like he needs to go to a poo, but like yeah, that was bro. never shown and I'm glad, but like he needed to, it'd be awesome, it, though, it, it, it would have been great. It yeah. would have been a great 12 minutes. It would have been very yeah. good comic relief, yeah. but like any movie is like that. It's not just, here's the. Here's like an epic part of this person's life. It's like, here's the epic parts of the epic part of this person's <laughs> totally, life because totally, totally. they cut out the bit from when he drives from this place to this bit because yeah. that would have been really boring. And yeah. so you're just f always seeing these epic parts of people's lives and it might lead you subconsciously to think that your life should be like that when, as you say, the majority of our life is messy and boring in some sense. Totally, totally. And that's, I love that, the, how you said that. That's freeing. There's freeing, freedom mm. in that. If you like that clip, be sure to like and subscribe. Cheers. <laughs>